Honestly, ladies, man, this this headline, I got to tell you, man, when I saw this headline, oh, man, did I have a laugh my ass off moment. I really did. And you know why? It's because women really allow this. You know what I mean? Not all women, obviously, but a lot of women have allowed themselves to be erased to the point where now Dylan Mulvaney, a biological man, that is a, a statistical fact, a Dylan Mulvaney type person has won Woman of the Year award. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't even know where to even begin on this one because it is so like the, the inmates run the asylum, right? Like the, the this is a clown world at this point where Dylan Mulvaney can have a headline that says Dylan Mulvaney w says Woman of the Year award means so much more after the Bud Light backlash. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Mulvaney, this biological male has officially become your Woman of the Year. So let's get into this article, guys, of course. But before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm shadow banned as hell because of videos like this and like the video to push us out into the YouTube algorithm so we can continue to fight the shadow ban as much as we can. So it says, after gaining Attitude Magazine's first ever Woman of the Year award, U.S. trans activist and grifter Dylan Mulvaney says receiving such recognition from the UK-based LGBTQ plus publication means so much more after a substantial transphobic backlash undermined his Bud Light advertisement. Of course, if you guys remember, a lot of you subscribed to me because of what happened with the Bud Light fiasco, and I appreciate that. I hope you guys are still around because we see the culmination of that entire debacle right we see that no matter what you do no matter how much of a failure you are you're always going to be rewarded as long as you are on the right side of politics and somebody like Dylan Mulvaney is absolutely on the right side of politics he is also on the right side of grifting and he's going to get more awards after this I promise you they're going to use Dylan Mulvaney as a poster child, this is the picture of a man, of a biological man, who found his way to success, okay? He found his way into his grift, and he was looking for it for a long time. If you guys remember, Dylan Mulvaney went on a lot of different reality shows, a lot of different TV shows. He was trying to find his way into fame, and he just couldn't pull it off as a gay male. It was just too difficult, okay? Because at that point, the progressive politics have already moved on from LGB, right? Like, it just, it just wasn't a thing. LG be it wasn't cool enough it wasn't special enough anymore so now what did he do he found out that by going trans that would allow him to get the mega grift going that would allow him to collect all the money he possibly can so that eventually when this trans movement starts to die out as a fad he will have gotten his money he will have gotten his fame and he will transition into whatever else is then popular at the time and stay ahead of the mold it is the ultimate grift ladies and gentlemen do not get it twisted he is not stupid it says no matter how hard i try or what i wear or what i say or what surgeries i get i will never reach an acceptable version of womanhood by those hateful people's standards mulvaney said in social media videos that showed his accepting of the award this week but as long as i have the queer community that sees me for my truth i'm gonna be okay well just so you guys are aware anybody that says this phrase my truth okay immediately i peg as a liar immediately because there is so many examples of people who use my truth there's no such thing as my truth there's no such thing as his truth it's only the truth that's it what is the truth okay that's the only thing that is actually true this my truth nonsense no 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 this this is your feelings this is how you feel it's not the truth okay it's just a feeling it says bovani attracted a following social media platform tiktok by documenting his journey as a grifter trans woman his reflections on coming out as a grifter and building a new wardrobe and undertaking gender affirming care that he never actually did i don't know why you are saying he took gender affirming care because it's been proven that he's not on hormones it's also been proven that he still has a swinging meat socket so again ladies and gentlemen i don't understand why they're lying about him having gender affirming care because he never did all he did was have facial surgeries that made him look more feminine because he's trying to pass off physically as such the best he can without actually going all the way because again He's going to pull out of this grift at some point. When it's not making him money anymore, when it's not making him famous anymore, he's going to pull out of the grift. And he can't do that if he goes all the way. So he's not hes not trying to do that. He's trying to get as far as he can without actually committing to any real gender-affirming care. 
It says his 365 Days of Girlhood videos resulted in two collaborations with Bud Light. The first went unnoticed. The second, a 60-second social media video on April 1st tagged Bud Light partner that showed him sipping a beer in his bubble bath sparked a wave of ire from political conservatives in the U.S. A boycott organized by right-wingers against Bud Light drove sales down 27% year-on-year as of September. The brand lost its place as the U.S. beer market's top seller. Bud Light's owner, Anheuser-Busch, sought to distance itself from the partnership with Mulvaney, saying the promotion was drummed up by an outside agency without management awareness or approval, which is complete nonsense. Of course they knew this was happening. They have to sign off on all of it. They knew exactly what was going down, and don't let Anheuser-Busch confuse it or tell you otherwise. It says, meanwhile, Mulvaney has said he faced more bullying and transphobia than he ever could have imagined, and he accused Bud Light of letting him deal with the wrath alone. For a company to hire a trans person and then not publicly stand by them is worse, in my opinion, than not hiring a trans person at all, Mulvaney later said in a TikTok video caption, trans people like beer too. Women, these are the people who are taking your spots. I just want to make this very clear and very aware. These are the people who are taking everything from you. You are letting it happen. There is a lot of women in this world who, unfortunately, I think it's 70 some odd percent or high 60 percent that vote progressive. You doing that and you advocating for these policies has now given men, the same men who you claim to run the patriarchy, the same men who you claim to have unfair wage gap, the same men who you claim to want to control your lives. You are allowing these men to dress up as a woman. And as long as they wear that dress, as long as they put on that wig, Suddenly, it's not about the patriarchy anymore. Suddenly, they're on your side. Suddenly, that you think that everything is fine now. That is absolutely, hilariously insane to me that you are okay with men taking everything from you as long as they do so while wearing a fucking dress. You are absolutely retarded in every way possible if you think that this is okay. If you're a woman and you think that it's okay that Dylan Mulvaney won Woman of the Year, you are fucking retarded and you deserve everything that's coming to you progressively, you know, politically, whatever word you want to use you deserve every single thing coming to you if you're okay with this nonsense i'm not saying dylan mulvaney can't try to win the man of the year award but they should not be able to win the woman of the year award and there's just so many women that are okay with this like the fact that i'm getting upset and angry for women just makes me like kind of want to give give up on it and be like you know what They're, you're fine with this you're okay with this you advocate for this you actively say online that you're okay with this because it doesn't affect you right like these women are not trying to actively go after this award so it doesn't affect them so they don't care but the moment something happens that actually affects the everyday woman suddenly they give a shit we know we've seen many examples of that already then it says the singer and actor paloma faith presented mulvaney with attitudes debut woman of the year laurel the present uh the presenter said her blood boils when she thinks about what the transphobic press and social media trolls have forced mulvaney to endure as she pursued the basic right to exist she was born to be okay sure let's 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 stop the nonsense. They weren't born to be trans. Nobody's born to be that, okay? People are born male or female. You obviously know that. That's scientifically provable in fact. But unfortunately, due to progressive politics in the West, uh, we have to deal with this stupid stuff. Virgin Atlantic sponsored the award. Some have openly wondered whether the UK-based airline owned by business magnate Richard Branson could be treated like Bud like Light has been, though the brand's customer base have key differences. As he picked up the award, Mulvaney said, some see me as the woman of the year, some see me as as a woman of a year as I only publicly came out online 560 days ago. Some people don't see me as a woman at all, which is why receiving this honor from a career publication like Attitude means so much more to me. So ladies and gentlemen, that's basically it, man. It is absolutely stupid. The fact that Dylan Mulvaney has won the woman of the year award, but I need you to keep in mind as you watch this video, you know, think about it for a second. Women have advocated for this. A lot of women, not all, but a lot. And uh, as people continue to get mad and people continue to fight, I need you to realize that women have come out and said they're okay with this. They're majority okay with this. So if the majority are okay with this, the only people who can fight against this, truthfully, are the minority who are not okay with this. So we need women who are not okay with this nonsense to fight along with the men who also want to support them. Because at the end of the day, it's going to take a joint effort to get rid of nonsensical people like this that are literally stealing everything from real biological women that apparently are okay with this happening. So I don't even know, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.